Signal's given. Starter presses a button and away they go. Breaking in a beautiful line. Gold Zest in the blue and white's going to show speed early. As to is Summer Wind out wide looking to come across. Red Raw's there. Lemon Squash, Royalty out wide. Uh, back then to Happy Wonderful midfield on the rail. Smoke and Mirrors just sits on the fence uh, back there in about seventh position. And then we have Sunday outside of her going back towards the tail enders. Anara. Whistle Green getting back to second last and at the tail of the field is super incredible. So they start to swing around the bend. 24-5-9 is the opening first 400. And Summer Wind's going to lead them out here for Matthew Kelly. Red Raw is there outside of Lemon Squash. Back then to Royalty. And then we have on the inside fence Gold Zest. Happy Wonderful. Back on the inside fence, Smoke and Mirrors is going to have to try and pick some runs through there. Sunday's gotten back to, to fourth last. Anara on the fence. Whistle Grand second last. And a long way detached at the back of the field is super incredible. As they swing for home in the first, Summer Wind in front. Lemon Squash giving chase. Out in the middle, Red Raw coming into it, as to his night love. Royalty out in the middle of a track. He's going to be one of the widest runners. Looking to see what's making up any ground out wide. Sunday peels across the hills out in the middle of a track. Whistle Grand starting to wind up, but it's still Summer Wind in front. Just looks to be a little bit awkward stride there. Coming into it behind him is Happy Wonderful giving chase. And then we move to the outside. Sunday making up ground, but on the outside, it's Happy Wonderful who takes over. And Happy Wonderful is going to win the first. Beats Summer Wind in the second. Sunday was third. Back then to Lemon Squash in fourth. Gold Zest. Uh, a few lengths away there behind that leading bunch. And then we have on the behind him in the Jason on colours of Royalty, Anara, Sunday, uh, back then out wider. And then we go back to Royalty, Red Raw, Whistle Grand was never a factor. And pulling up last of all was super incredible. And Jerome Tan continues his great uh, patch of form at the moment. Happy, wonderful. Shafiq Rizwan take out race number one. The four-year-old entire by Magnus at his fourth career start here in Singapore. Not happy with one on the inside, but he is now. He presses a button and lets him go. Holy Eleanor began well on the inside as to the battle win. Now, Super Extremes missed it, and the jockey doesn't look to be taking any part in the race. Uh, out wide, Golden Monkey's coming across with speed, and then we have out wide, 96 Warrior looking to style rain. Rahotu's back towards the tail. On his outside, we have Tassel, and then back to the tail enders. Engines start, and uh, last of all is chosen one on the fence. First 425 25-1-7. And it's on the inside fence, Golden Monkey, who leads him out. Now, to his outside, we have 96 Warrior, who's uh, really given chase, and Holy Eleanor. And then we go back on the inside fence, Peruna Cabeza looking to pick runs. Back then to Missile Rain behind them, battle win. Out wide, getting a, a bit of a shake-up is Tassel, and Rahotu looking to come into it. But as they start to get into the last 300 metres, it's Golden Monkey, who's set sail for home. He's got a real big break here over Holy Eleanor. Missile Rain looking to run into the miners, but at this stage, it's a one-race affair, and it's all Golden Monkey. He's absolutely destroying them here in race number two, and he's going to draw away and beat Holy Eleanor for yet another second. Missile Rain will get third, Peruna Cabeza finishing off with engine start Rahotu back then to Peruna Cabeza who failed to sprint at the end and then a significant margin to 96 Warrior going back behind him there we have uh, is uh, battle win second last chosen one towards a tail tassel and after missing it badly super extreme was one of the last ones out of the gates and took no part in the race but he still finished over the line Flags given, presses a button, and away they go. He began okay, Billy Elliott, from the inside, but uh, he's not going to try and lead him up here as Lucky Imperator shoots across from a wide draw to try and get up there. Passport to Rome's in a position moving forward. And then we have to racing there to the inside is Safir. Now, Billy Elliott's kicking up on the inside fence to try and uh, get a bit of position. Blue Idol's caught out wide. They're all looking nice and bunched here as Salomon settles midfield to Relentless. And then going back to Lanker and, and at the tail of the field is Intrepid. But they're very, very bunched as they run 24-81 for the opening section. It's Lucky Imperator who sees them out over Passport to Rome, who's got to cross into a nice position. Safir on the fence, out wide Blue Idol. Billy Elliott's just trying to pick his runs. Then we go back to Salomon's Relentless has got back to third last and then we go back to Lankaran and Intrepid. So they swing around in the 600 in 36.01 as Lucky Imperator leads them up. Passport to Rome's in a pouncing position for Gerald and Seau. Blue Idol's already under the bat, as to is Billy Elliott, but he starts to check across hills. Relentless is the widest runner for Nunez, and he's starting to peck back these leaders. Safir's going up and down in the one spot back on the inside fence. Lucky Imperator holds the margin over Passport to Rome. Here comes Relentless trying to have a dive at him. Lucky Imperator still holds the lead. He's in front here over Passport to Rome, Relentless, and finishing off his Salamence, but they're really not trying to peg 
back this leader. Salomon's having a dive at him, but it's all lucky. Imperator and a nice betting move pays off. Gets the coin over Salomon's. Relentless was in third, just failed to finish over the top of him. Lankeran ran on into fourth. Back then, passport to Rome. Intrepid made up ground from the back. Billy Elliott was disappointing. He uh, didn't fire a shot at all in the end. And then we go back to Safir and Blue Idol, one of the last tail enders. Signal, presses a button, and away they go. Getting hard ridden is Sports Caster. Foresto showing good toe out of the machines. As to his scooter, who's going to scoot across horse number 10 and come across and join Foresto. God's Gift gets a nice camp in third. Digging up there is Maximilian. And then we go back to the likes uh, on the inside fence. Back then of Roman Classic. Endless just trapped a little bit wide midfield looking for a position. Gold Kingdom gets back to third last as they make their way around that first turn. And then we have uh, there is Sun Pittsburgh. And last of all is Big Day, uh, one of the big market movers in the race. So they start to swing around the back straight here in Foresto. Ronnie Stewart just drops a hand and tries to get him to settle, but he's got plenty of pressure with Maximilian coming out wide three deep to take the lead. Back then to Scooter, who gets a nice run in third. And they're well clear here over God's Gift uh, racing there to uh, Sportscaster. Midfield is Endless, who's got his own real estate midfield. Roman Classic back towards the tail end with Gold Kingdom. Max said there of big day. So they've run the 700 in 44.09 as they start to swing past the 700 metre mark. And it's in front, seeing them all the way here is uh, in front on the inside. We have Maximilian, who leads them up here for TH Co over Scooter as they start to head to the finish line and turn for home. God's Gift under hard riding. Endless looking to come into it. Back then to Foresto, who's going up and down on the one spot. Roman Classic behind him. Out wide, uh, Sun Pittsburgh making a run with Gold Kingdom. Endless is just ahead of them, and the others have a lot of work to do as they come into the last 280 metres. It's Scooter who just gets a margin in front. God's Gift's giving chase in the white cap as to Gold Kingdom. Endless looks to be uh, plugging away in the last bit as to Sun Pittsburgh. Gold Kingdom and God's Gift. It's them two that are going to fight it out here in the fourth. God's Gift's got the margin. Gold Kingdom. God's Gift gets the coin. Beats Gold Kingdom into another placing. And then we go back to Sun Pittsburgh, who might have just got third in a wall of four horses there for the minor placing. There we have Scooter, Maximilian. Back then to Big Day, who didn't pull off uh, anything today. Endless, uh, he continues a maiden here in Singapore. Back then to Roman Classic. Foresto, uh, nothing again today. And back then we have uh, Grandpa Micmac. And at the back of the field, pulling up uh, rather quickly, is the old boy Sportscaster. Starter John Pepe presses a button. It was a little bit tardly away, Boomba, but he's getting shaken up now, but he's on track with the team. Beginning well uh, out wide, we have uh, Street Cry Success there with Sacred Judgment, poking up uh, Ista Tarba in a very forward position. Going back to Champagne Finale, Boomba's made up some ground to be wide, but midfield. Back then to Mo Almighty, Clergyman, Russian Twist, and Born to Win. Uh, they're very uh, tightly compact here as they start to sort their orders out now, and it's going to be uh, the number one Saddlecloth who leads them up here in Sacred Judgment. Ista Tarba's in second, back then to Street Cry Success. Boomba's moved up to third uh, in a nice stalking position. Russian Twist making up ground out wide. And then we go back to Mo Almighty, uh, racing back second last Champagne Finale, and Born to Win has uh, improved to a midfield position with Clergyman last of all. They start to swing around to the 600 metre mark and it's number one, Sacred Judgment, leading them up here. Beginning wide uh, is Russian Twister uh, with a run. Ista Tarb is under a fair bit of pressure. Going back to the outside is Born to Win and Mo Almighty inside of him. Boomba's on a stalking position and they're very, very compact here. It's on the inside fence. Street Cry Success, Sacred Judgment. And then we go back to the outside. Boomba giving chase. Russian Twist looks to have peaked on the run. Born to Win's coming hard out wide with the lightweight. So it's still in front here with Street Cry Success. He's just got the margin over Sacred Judgment, born to win, looks to be struggling to pick him up, but it's all Street Cry Success going to the line, wins at a length over Sacred Judgment, born to win in third. Clergyman made up a bit of ground to snag fourth, back then to Boomba who was failing with Mo Almighty. Russian Twist made a mid-race move and didn't come off today. And then we go back to Ista Tarba, she was uh, fairly disappointing. I think we'll uh, see her in an easier grade and then back to Champagne Finale at the rear of the field. Starter John Pepe presses a button and they broke in a beautiful line. He began well magnificent gold. As too did Sun Ace, who's a favourable front runner. Diamond Mine using that inside draw to kick up for Simon Cock. Pushing up Nate's honour out wide back then to Chipmunks. And they're quite closely bunched in that first section as we go to Passa Pinjai midfield. He's got in a good spot from the draw. Laksana behind him, Buddy Buddy back in class. 
And then we go back to K.O. Marnie, Victory Joy, and at the tail of the field, 12th night, and Con Flagrance will see them all. So they scoot to the 1100 metre mark and they've run the first 420.28 as they head around that back corner in front, Sun Ace. Nate's on is there with Diamond Mine. Back then to Chipmunks, Magnificent Gold. Laksana, Pasapinjai midfield. Copying a check there was Victory Joy. And then we go back to a, a bunch field there with Conflagrant setting sail out wide. 12th Knight is at the rear. And they are very, very bunched in that back four horses. They set sail for home and they head to the 700 metre mark. Half a mile in 44.66 as they go uh, past the famous Cheval Riding School and the cafe at the Singapore Turf Club. Sunday's still in front. Nate's on is up there with a pounce. Diamond Mine's under some hard riding. And then we go back uh, on the inside fence. Uh, magnificent gold out peeling out wide. Chipmunks back to the inside. Laksana coming into it. Passer Pindry's out in the middle of a track. Con Flagrance is coming out wide. 12th Knight's going to have to come from well back to get over these. Let's get back to these leaders in the 300 metre mark. Magnificent gold's taken over now. Over uh, back then to Sun Ace on the inside. Not much really making up much ground. Laksana, one of them. But it's all uh, magnificent gold as he comes into the last 150 metres. He's drawing clear for Manuel Nunes and he's got a nice break here over Laksana who's running into second but that was a lovely steer by Nunes. Gets the job done on Magnificent Gold over Laksana. Buddy Buddy got a place uh, for the first time in a long time. Back then to Sun Ace. Kaomani ran on. The others dropping off. Diamond Mine. Nate's on her. Chipmunks. And then we go back to Passa Pinjai. 12th night. And then the tail enders a long way back from them were Victory Joy and Con Flagrance. He uh, covered a lot of ground and finished at the rear. He presses a button and away they go. Beginning well was Turf Beauty. Uh, out wide, auspicious day, looking to show speed with Sia, who's in a prominent position, and he's going to dart for the inside rail. Back then to Military Chairman, uh, Awesome Conqueror out wide, looking for a position. Back then to the midfield bunch of Ann Panman, and he's just racing there uh, to the inside with out wide Atlantean. Back then to Super Speed, Jupiter Dragon back towards the tail end. And there we have Happy Heart. Uh, and back then racing a long way back is Kakadu. First 425.59 as they make their way over to the back point past the Stewards Tower. And it's in front uh, on, the, uh, on the fence. Racing, we have Auspicious Day, Awesome Conqueror to the outside. Back then to see at a favourite, and they're drawing away now from the rest of the field with uh, Military Chairman and Panman Atlantean under a shake. Back then to, uh, we have Happy Heart back racing then with Super Speed. Jupiter Dragon's under a lot of pressure back with Kakadu, and uh, Happy Heart is a long way last. Uh, Going to have to be a miracle to win from there. Turning for home, it's Auspicious Day and Awesome Conqueror. See is starting to get on the scene now for Nunes, the favourite. He gives laying down the challenge. Awesome awesome Conqueror just up and down on the one spot, but it's these two are fighting it out. Sia and on the inside, but it's going to be Sia who gets the bob on the line. Just over Auspicious Day uh, with super speed making up a lot of ground. Back then to Awesome Conqueror who dropped off. And there we have on the outside, uh, Happy Heart, who came from well back there with Military Chairman and Panman uh, pulling up next with uh, Turf Beauty, Kakadu. And on the outside of them, Jupiter Dragon towards the tail end is Atlantean. And uh, back last of all, there is Beauty Spirit. Starter presses a button and away they go. And he's missed the start, old flak jacket. Uh, he's going to sit at the tail of the field. Beginning quickly is K Doom uh, as two yes one ball driving up inside of him. Sirius has shown speed with Ben Wade who's going to try and use that rail and hold them all out. And then we've got a bit of a margin going back there too. Decreto, Gamely and racing out wide there is Rusty Rust. As we look towards the back enders, we have Limbs Unique uh, racing there with on the inside one-way ticket. Flak Jacket making up ground on the rail. And then back then to Limbs Force and at the last of all is Healthy Star. Scooting along now down to the 600 metre mark and it's in front. Yes, one boar who sees him over. K Doom's giving chase to the outside back on the fence, Sirius. And then we look to the outside. Uh, they're running on his Ben Wade, making a move gamely uh, there with Rusty Rust back to the Credo. Flak Jacket picking runs up on the inside fence. And then back to the outside. Uh, the Limbs horses are at the back and looking to come into it. Yes, one ball gets a bit of a break here on K Doom. Ben Wade going uh, up and down on the one spot. They look to be drawing away from the rest. Gamely running on to a minor placing. But it's yes, one ball breaking clear over K Doom. And Nunes drives this one clear to get another winner on the card. Yes, one ball wins it over K Doom. Gamely snagged into third. Back then to the outside. Limbs force run on. Flak Jacket was a huge run. He's finished uh, just behind them uh, after being stuck on the inside rail, missing the start. And then we go back then to uh, Healthy Star pulling up there with Ben Wade, Decreto in front of them. Uh, one way ticket didn't come into it as to Rusty Rust. Serious. He was up there in the firing line but uh, failed to finish the race out and he's going to finish at the tail of the field.
Presses a button and away they go. Breaking in a beautiful line, uh, taking a seat at the back of the field there is Gold City. Rick Bello showing speed as to as Consperanza is going to use that inside rail, but Green Star says, no thanks, I'm going to take up the lead. And he gets uh, about a three-quarter length lead as he starts to look to find the running rail. Back then to King Louis in fourth. Hero's got a nice run uh, just behind the speed there on the fence. Back then to Sacred Sweet Gold City using that inside fence to try and pick some runs. And then we go back to Harry Dream, uh, Fireworks, and Red Dragon with the blinkers first time. He's going to have to come from last. First 425-19 as they start to make their way down to the back corner. It's Green Star in front. Rick Vello moves up into second. And then we've got Consperanza with a nice run in third there for the race favourite. Back then to King Louis. Uh, Hero's in a lovely position. He's going to have to have a bit of luck, though, uh, from Nunes. And then we go back to Sacred Sweet. Uh, Getting a bit of a run on now is Fireworks. Back then to Gold City on the fence. Harry Dream second last and Red Dragon still last of all. They approach a 600 metre mark here uh, for race number nine. Green Star gets a nice rhythm in front for Zaki. Consperanza just camps away in behind them. Rick Velo's under some pressure. Hero's got a nice little run up the inside. It's uh, appearing for him now, but he's uh, going to have to weave a bit of a passage again. And then back to uh, King Louis out wide. Fireworks. Uh, Harry Dreams peeled out to the middle of a track. Can she wind up? Looking for a run behind him is Gold City as Consperanza overtakes him. Hero's just behind him, not too far away. Green Star whacking away on the fence. He's rolled out Consperanza and he looked to brush Hero and they're going to fight it out, these two. It's Consperanza. Hero overtakes him and shoots past him. The interference was no drama at all. He got the better of him on the line, and Consperanza second. King Louis uh, in a photo there with Gold City for third. Back then to uh, Fireworks. Running on late through the line was Red Dragon, but he left his run way too late. And then we go back then to Green Star, Sacred Sweet, and towards the tail, Harry Dream, not a factor, and Rick Velo, he's pulling up a long way last. He presses a button and away they go. Just a little bit dawdly away was real effect though, but he's going to drive up now to get a position. Pennywise began well, as too did Time Lord, Golden Flame. Now who wants to take up the lead? Mohamed Zaki is going to use that inside rail and he says, uh, I might just kick up there and get a spot. And he's going to keep uh, quite a few wide, including Elite Incredible. There's a bunch of horses behind them, including uh, So High Class. Back then to uh, Strong and Best, uh, out wide Time Lord. Back then to Savvy Command, and then we go dropping back to Sun Fortress. Trumpy second last, and Vittoria Perfetta at the tail. First 425-14 as they start to make their way uh, down the back. Taking over now is Pennywise over Golden Flame. Now, Real Effecto's worked his way up into third. A nice piece of riding here by Nunes. Elite Incredible just camps away in behind them. Back then to Strong and Best, Predator on the rail. He settled midfield and got a nice spot. Time Lord's covering a lot of ground out wide. Back then to Savvy Command as they swing past the riding school here at the Singapore Turf Club. And it's uh, on the inside fence, so high class, worse than midfield. Back then to Sun Fortress. Trumpy is uh, towards the tail end there with Vittoria Perfetta. Half a mile in 48.2 as they turn for home and Pennywise puts the challenge up to Golden Flame. Real effect though, sticking to the inside fence for Nunes. And then Strong and Best looking to peel out into the middle of a track and starting to wind up now. Behind him is Savvy Command with a run on as well. So it's anyone's race here at the 280 metre mark. It's Pennywise, but he's being tackled now by Strong and Best as he shoots past him and Harry Chasm sets sail for home. Savvy Command looks to be running into a minor. Trumpy's made up a stack of ground up the inside, but it's all Strong and Best. Harry Chasm sits up, smiles for the photo. That was an easy win in the end. Trumpy caught the eye running into second. Back then to So High Class in third. Out wide Savvy Command. Pennywise the old boy. He's uh, not too far away from that leading bunch. And pulling up outside of him we have Sun Fortress. Real effect though. Not really a big threat today. Back then to Golden Flame Predator. And then the tail end is Vittoria Perfetta and Elite Incredible. And a long way back last was Time Lord who covered a lot of ground. He presses a button and away they go. Beginning well is I Am Sacred in the raffle silks to go forward. Win-win using the inside rail. Boy Zander's not too far away and he's going to try and poke up and keep up with the pace. Hamama's up there in the firing line in fourth. Eight balls jump well after all that drama. And then we go back to Surge, uh, winning hobby. Limbs Knight just out on a limb. And then we go back to Happy Friday there with Lord of Wind racing towards the tail with Revolution. And at the back of the field is Crystal 60 as they swing past the 600 metre mark and they're setting sail for home for the last time today. Seeing them out here is I Am Sacred, leading them up for the claiming rider. Win Win and Boy Zander, they're both camped together to try and stake a claim. Hamama out three wide, back then to eight ball and they've drawn away from the rest, including Limbs Knight Surge. 
Lord of Cloud back then, Lord of Wind back then to uh, Limbs Night and Happy Friday not coming into it. I Am Sacred set sail for the judge. Hamama's giving chase. Eight Ball, where are these other ones? They're not really making up any ground. Eight Ball starting to give chase on I Am Sacred as they come into the last 100 metres. Eight Ball gobbles them up, giving chase Limbs Night. But in the last race, the emergency Eight Ball gets the coin after a dramatic start. Wins it over Limbs Night. Uh, finishing off on the outside was Happy Friday. Back on the inside fence, I Am Sacred just uh, peaked on his run. And then we go back to Revolution, who was catching the eye late. Well, Win Win was disappointing, as too was Boy Xander. And then we go back to Lord of Wind. Ha Mama, after uh, being up there in a firing spot, is pulling up there next to Winning Hobby and Surge. And uh, Boy Xander, well, we'll keep an eye on the vet report. Uh, he's one of the first to pull up.